decides who gets to sit on the board of directors? What about companies where directors just appoint their mates? What happens if a company has bad news, like a lost contract? Should they have to share this news with the shareholders or a broader market? Who sets the salary for the CEO and the board? And what happens if they decide to overpay themselves? What mechanisms do we have in place to help deal with these types of situations? Corporate governance is the term used to describe how organisations are directed and controlled. This responsibility generally lies with the board of directors who have been appointed by the shareholders. Why is it important? We only need to look at corporate failures in companies like Enron and Wantel, where their failure was attributed to, amongst other things, weak corporate governance to see why. Corporate governance is the foundation for all organisations as it aids them in reaching their strategic goals and objectives. It also protects the business and its owners from the associated risks. Poor governance, on the other hand, can lead to a wide range of issues, including loss of assets, theft and fraud, poor decision making and even business failure. To help implement good governance, there are a wide range of rules and guidelines. Rules come from areas such as corporation law, consumer protection law and regulatory body regulations. One such set of guidelines have been published by the Australian Securities Exchange or ASX. These are known as the ASX's Corporate Governance Council's Principles and Recommendations or the ASX CGC. These were first published in 2003 and have since been updated three more times in 2007, 2014 and most recently in January 2020. Thus we are on the fourth edition of the Principles and Recommendations. These principles only apply to listed companies so that shareholders and investors can buy and sell shares with peace of mind. The principles are as stated guidelines, however they are based on the if not, why not approach. Therefore, if a listed company chooses not to comply with the guidelines, it must explain why not so that the market can understand the decision for non-compliance. There are eight core principles found in the guidelines published by the ASX. These are lay solid foundations for management and oversight or solid foundations, structure the board to be effective and add value or strong board structure, instill a culture of acting lawfully, ethically and responsibly or ethical culture, safeguard the integrity of corporate reports or integrity in reporting, make timely and balanced disclosures or adequate disclosures, respect the rights of security holders or respect for owners, recognise and manage risk or deal with risk and lastly remunerate fairly and responsibly or pay people sensibly. These are broad statements and are unpacked further in 35 recommendations. You need to not only read them but also be able to understand the intention behind each core principle and critically analyse how each principle is to be achieved. As you consider each principle and its related recommendations, ask yourself why did people decide this was important enough to document and what issues led to it being relevant?